All right, guys, so we see we got our Pillsbury biscuits, and we're just going to stretch these out just a little bit. And before we do that, we're going to spray them down. With a little bit of spray here so they don't stick. And I have my oven preheated to 350, so we just stretch these out. And we're going to just place that right over the top, just like that. Boom. And we're going to do that for each of these. We're going to stretch these out, just like that. Right over the top. Try to spread these out so they don't stick together. Might have a little overlap, but that's all right. Stretch. Boom. Just make sure that dough sticks down and we're gonna pop these in the oven for about 12 minutes at 350 and we'll see you guys in a minute all right guys check these out so we're just gonna pop these bad boys off look at that perfect little cups mm. yeah look at that These are gonna be so yummy. And they have the right kind of texture, you know what I mean? A little tougher on the outside, but nice and moist on the inside. So I got some eggs that I went ahead and cooked while these were in the oven. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna pop these in here. And this was about nine eggs for eight of these biscuits. You can obviously adjust the quantities if you want. And y'all know I got my Greek seasoning on top of my eggs, just lightly seasoned them after they were done cooking. Boom, just like that. Give these a couple more here. All right, so then the next thing we got is also while those were in the oven, I cooked some bacon in the oven and we're just gonna crunch this bacon on up right on top and don't worry none of this bacon is going to go to waste and when you cook the bacon in the oven it makes it nice and crunchy so you can just crush it up Here. 
Mm. Yo, we not wasting no bacon. All right, so the next thing we're gonna add is some cheese. Now, this is my preference for cheese, but you can add whichever cheese that you like. It's gonna get that nice topple right there. And if you want to be even fancier, you can pop these back in the oven for a couple minutes to let the cheese melt on top. That's if you want to. And then my last ingredient. Alright, so we are adding our salsa right on top. Just to finish these bad boys out. Y'all know we from Texas and we love our salsa. <clears throat> we got our last two here. And y'all, I am so excited about these. So I'm going to take this one right here. Y'all check that out. Oh, I'm just going to bite this bad boy. Mmm. Look at that. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and finish mine. I'll see y'all next time.